Hey, what's going on everyone? We have a different type of video and it's a new series to our videos that we do. So we are introducing the, the airsoft part of our series. Uh, it's a new part. We got Larry the airsoft guy with us. Airsoft knowledge is way beyond mine. We're going to be asking him a lot of questions and he's going to be helping us out with the equipment that he's got on today. From the helmet all the way down to his boots, head to the feet, everything he's got on today. So Larry's going to help us out with a lot of this, where he got it from. Um, he, we don't know the names of every single piece of equipment today, but we do know where we got them from. If you need to go in and order some of this stuff that Larry has on, you know, you can go to those websites and find these types of equipment. Also, at the end of this video, we will be doing a review on an M14. Is that right, Larry? Yeah. M14 review on an airsoft gun. We have lots of other uh, types of airsoft guns as well, and a little bit more of equipment. I've got my equipment too, because I do do some airsoft with Larry. And uh, we're going to introduce all this to you. So enjoy this series, enjoying this opening part of the series, and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Larry, welcome to the Scott and Joe Show. And uh, we're going to talk about the equipment today and what you got on. So let's kind of just do a little 360 here of what, what we got on and the equipment that we got. So we got some knee pads those are those are pretty important uh, a lot of sliding and a lot of uh, getting behind barriers and stuff like that we got our are those steel toe boots is that right yeah we got our steel toe boots we got our gloves and I, and I found out the gloves are very very important as well uh, we got our vest slash backpack and uh, helmet let me go around here you got your uh, is that noise canceling headphones is that what you call those larry yeah. he's got some patches on here and this is his new addition right here for, for larry that's his um uh new what is that just a backpack to your connects to your vest larry yeah. and then uh yeah you got your knee pads that go around the back you got uh his utility belt like batman <laughs> you got his uh little uh that's a fake machete. Anybody that's freaking out, that is a, a airsoft type of machete. It's plastic, not real, not real, but it is part of the uh, equipment and you know things that he uses. I don't think you have you used that uh, that machete in in combat, as we would call it, I guess, and in, in, yeah. in, in, in part of the game for uh, airsoft. Okay. So let's start. We're going to go all the way from the top, all the way to the bottom. Let's go from your helmet here, your trusty helmet. Uh, where did the trusty helmet come from, Colin? Go ahead and start talking, and I'll kind of go around the helmet while you're talking. Everything except these goggles came from me, buddy. Does that come in your, uh, your noise-canceling headphones? Yeah. Yeah. So he's got a little patch there that, that he added to this helmet, and he's got another little patch over here uh, that he added to this helmet. And this noise-canceling, those were really cool. Um, he's let me uh, try them on, and and uh, he got really excited about them, and they're really awesome. They do have some the grenades that they use in there, and they are fairly loud. Those are good to have these noise canceling headphones for. Um, he's got his protection for his goggles, but you, those are very, very, very important to have your safety goggles. Yeah, you are required. Or where we play at to have your safety goggles on uh, anytime you're in the field uh even when they're even they're talking about what what game we're going to be playing that at that, that time you get to have your goggles on so why do you wear this um like mask deal what, what does that help with to look cool well it looks cool does it keep some dust out of your face a little dust out of your nose and out of your mouth because we do play in a desert area out here in new mexico yeah so i'm sure that helps with that too um, but also looks cool. Um, a little bit of protection. These are plastic BBs that get shot um, at us. So now let's go to the vest. So this is the vest part, and this is, uh, whoa. Those are your uh, deals where you keep all your mags. So you got three of those. Oh, it, it folds up there. And that's, is that the part that comes across to, to put your vest on? Nice, and that's just built, a lot of Velcro uh type of deals and you know that's pretty cool looking he's got i think this is a fairly new patch too is that correct yeah larry yeah he's got his new patches on his arms 
he's all patched up over here, but he's got his arm, his, his sleeves rolled up. He went from, this is a fairly new, I guess, type of uh, shirt and pants, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, he, he was, what was that? Uh, like a army green or whatever you were wearing? I said, man, you're in the desert. <laughs> he got with the game and he goes, okay, we're in the desert. I need some desert camo. And he's really cool looking now. Uh, with the desert camo on, he's got his nice helmet. So, where did you get the uh, where did you get the vest from? This is the Wraith T3 from E Vike. Wraith T3. Wraith. Wraith. Yeah. Wraith T3 from E Vike. Uh, uh, a lot of E Vike stuff. E Vike is is just straight up airsoft, right? There's no other stuff on E Vike, is there? Other There's than airsoft some other stuff? stuff, but it's mostly airsoft. Yeah, mostly airsoft for E Vike. If uh, really good quality stuff on there. Um, and do have reviews. So let's let's talk about the backpack while I'm over here looking at the backpack. Is that is that Evike as well? I don't remember where, where that came from. Backpack and patches on it are all from Amazon. Amazon. So the little backpack right here that's connected, this is a little bitty backpack, and it's like his little med pack. Uh, and and he, I guess he's disassembling it here for us. Can't get it off. Okay. <laughs> It's hard. Uh, it's hard to do. There you go. Okay, I, I'm gonna help him out. There we go. So that comes off right there. He's got his little uh, med uh, patch. Does that come with it, or did you put that patch on there? The patch uh, that doesn't come with it. You got the patch as well. He's got his. Let's see what we got in there. You got some neosporin. Is that right? Yeah. Is that a sharpie to to outline your cut wound and cut your leg off, or what? It's just some. <laughs> you got a sharpie in there, all right. Uh, and then we got some band aids and, and other things. But yeah, the, you do get a few, a few uh, little scratches and, and cuts and things playing. Um, let me put that back on there for you, bub. Uh, Mr. Larry, I'm probably gonna put it back on wrong. All right, I think that's right. Put it back on like that. <laughs> but yeah, that's his backpack. That's pretty cool. That's a new addition. We just got that a few few days ago. All right, so we went from the shirt. We got your utility belt. So where did the utility belt come from, bub? It came with a vest that I got a long time ago. Does that come with Evike, or did that come with uh, another vest from Amazon? Do you remember where that one came from? And that, yeah. that your little pistol holder there? So this and the belt came with a vest from Amazon. I don't remember the name of it. Okay. Okay, that came from Amazon. And then your gloves. The gloves. Uh, I think Etsy. Etsy? Like yeah. Okay. Um, I prefer I prefer the gloves with all fingers. Uh, uh, it is sometimes harder to pull the trigger for me, but uh, I guess that's one of the things. But I have found that the hands get hit a lot because yeah. you're behind um, either a wall or maybe a boulder or you know, tires, whatever your uh, field has. And then when you're shooting, of course, with, with your airsoft gun, your hands are exposed, and I had to get gloves quickly because, god dang, that that was getting my fingers tore up, man. All right, so we got the pants, the pants and the shirt. That was all in the same combo, I would assume. Uh, you got them together, I would assume. No, you got to buy them separately. Oh, but They're, you bought them from the same place. Um, yeah, Evike uh, or Evic, however you want. To I say. think it's Evike, but yeah. Uh, both are from Emerson Gear. I think that's how you say it. Okay, and you got your knee pads there. Where did those come from? I do not know. Okay. Uh, I would assume uh, possibly around the same. He got those very early. We've yeah. been doing this for maybe about over a little over a year. I think he got those within a couple of months or a month after we kind of really got it started getting into airsoft. So he's had those for a while. As you can tell, they've got some wear and tear. They are uh, recommended. Yeah. Um, I mean, you don't get shot in the knees. That's not the point of those. The point of those is to protect you um, when you're sliding and or trying to get behind something uh, or get down for cover, and then you don't have to get your knees scraped up by rocks and gravel and dirt. Uh, right here is mostly undamaged, but then you got this one, which is scratched to hell. Which yeah, you don't that, that, means, that means you're using it, man. So yeah. that's 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 uh, that's the point of them. So we got our boots. Uh, did we need to get those from Walmart? I think so. I think we got those from Walmart. Uh, you know, just get you some nice boots uh, to wear. You want protection. 
Um, where we play at, there has been a couple of snakes uh, found, rattlers, I do believe. Yes. So that's the equipment part of it for today, uh, today's video. And we are going to end up uh, going outside and doing a, and there's that, that noise canceling uh, deals. And it does have a little microphone that comes down there too. Let's show that off later. And then um, we are going to go outside and, and do an inside part of the uh, review of the gun and do some demonstrations of the gun. So stick around for that part of the video. This is the CYMA M14. It looks like an M1, but mag is right there. Battery back here. It's an AEG. If I could get that open. You gotta just stuff it in there depending on the battery. Oh, a lot of those I found in these in the, in the airsoft guns kind of kind of kind of squeeze in there. I haven't found one that kind of lays in just just right. A lot of them squeeze into the spots. The bandage does not come on it. Just by the way. Then you got your safety. Which that's a pretty nice noise. About two hundred bucks or so, something like that. Right, right. And where did we get the gun from? Where did they get this one from? They, this is from Evike. This is from Evike as well. Um, uh, another safety precaution. We're very safety oriented in uh, airsoft because uh, at any time somebody could have an eye taken out, and and that is not going to be a good day, of course. So always have your gun cover on if you're not using it. That is very, very important. Have your safety on if you're not using it and have your clip out. So here is the clip and have your clip out. And um, uh, I, I would probably prefer to have the battery out, but we are about to go out there and uh, do a demonstration of this gun. And uh, I need to put a little bit of safety stuff on for me just for some, um, what backfire? What would you call that? Not backfire, but ricochet. We, ricochet. Yeah, it could be a ricochet or two. Um, always, again, try to be safe. And um, Larry's going to demonstrate a couple of shots. We got a little target out there. We'll set up. It's about a, let's say it's about forty feet uh, of where we're going to be shooting from. And uh, let's go do a quick demonstration of this gun, and we'll be uh, wrapping up here fairly soon of this uh, review and. Uh, equipment and safety for airsoft. All right, everyone, we're using the point two uh, size BBs for airsoft. We got a little target here. It's it's been in the garage for a little while. We just put, busted it back out. It's a little dusty and dirty, but we're using it for today's demonstration of this uh, airsoft gun. And we got this from Amazon as well. So, all right, everyone. We're out here doing a quick demonstration of the M14 airsoft gun. And as you can tell, it has have an orange uh, piece cap on the on the end. And also, we have, we have walked off about 20 feet here from our target. And it is a smaller target that we're shooting at here. And then uh, Larry is going to do a quick little tutorial here of us shooting. Nice shooting there. You knocked that one all the way off. What are you doing here, Larry? What was that? Is that is that from safety on and off? This is a full auto now. He's gonna go to full auto. All right, we've already knocked one off. Nice. That happens sometimes. Is it is it just kind of uh, out of 
out of bullets there, or is it still got yeah, bullets? Yeah, it happens with the mags if you're using high cap. All right, so Larry, the M14 all together. What do you think of this gun? What, what's your what's your review? What's your what's your rating from um, zero to ten? Give us give us what you think. Uh, what's what's some of the great features on this gun? Well, I like this a lot. Just where you just where it comes out, and it's pretty simple to get in, the battery in and out for the most part. Not a bunch of uh, screws and stuff. Yeah. This is the best part, in my opinion. Not the auto. Just trying to change that back. That is pretty cool, right there. So you got your sights. Do those come up and down, right there on the top? Uh, your sights. Uh, does, that, does that part come up and down right here, or anything like that? Well, this is for a mount. I don't know if the sights go up or down. Haven't messed with them. Kind of scared too. Okay. Uh, shoots really far. Uh, at some fields, you might be required to be like 50 feet away before you can shoot someone. So I'd give it about a seven. Give it a seven, seven out of ten. And another cool thing, if I had a full clip, I could show you. Actually, all right, Larry, uh, let's get a, a demonstration here. Just putting the mag in. Let's get a demonstration here of uh, semi-automatic and then automatic, and uh, we'll get a little bird's eye view here of what it looks like. Nice shooting. We go to automatic now. Nice. It does run out of ammo rather quickly. So that's that's probably why you're getting a, given in the. Uh, well, you, we'll we'll see about what the review of it here in just a second. And uh, that, that's pretty cool, man. I hey, wanted to thank everybody today for watching this video, uh, M14 review, some equipment review of Airsoft. Uh, I'd like to thank Larry, the Airsoft guy, for helping us out on this review today. Uh, Larry, you're going to be with us on the other reviews, I would assume, for Airsoft? Yeah. Larry will be part of our uh, Airsoft reviews going forward. So welcome to the show, Larry, the Airsoft guy. And hit that like and subscribe button, everyone. We will have a lot more of these coming in the future and possible in combat videos uh, that we're hoping to bring some soon. So thank you all and until next time.